Okay, here's the third way you can find a leak. I've got a ultrasonic translator detector. This is a Delcon Hewlett Packard. It's about 30 years old. It's a 4905A. And what it does, it has a special probe here. It takes ultrasonic and then it down converts it to an audio. If I have this over here so it reads say 5 dB. It's all relative. I can take this probe and touch it to a pipe. You can actually hear the leak. If I go over here and just put this on the frame, or I go touch the other side, there's no leak in the other pipe. So if I go here and just walk through this, That's just screaming. I'm actually going to turn this down some. So I'm just going to go through and walk through on these pipes. This is charged right now with nitrogen. one I found yesterday. It's just screaming with the uh, leak. So what it's doing is taking the leak you can't hear by ear and going through and down converting it to where you can hear. And that's an ultrasonic leak detector. This particular unit is one that's actually got a contact probe. Uh, they also make them that use a microphone. You basically go through and you just go through the suspected leak area. This one here is the one that was screaming yesterday. And there you go. It's the same as we found yesterday with the uh, H10. So with this type of device, you can fill an AC coil just with nitrogen or something, no Freon or anything, and go through and just walk this through the joints and you can actually find the leak. Uh, instead of using bubbles or something, you can actually listen to it. That's just a third alt way of locating a leak on a heat exchanger here. That one just screams.